Oof, yeah. We keep getting this energy here, Taurus. It's codependent. It's it's a past, you know, and I a lot of the times when this happens is also parts of us that are still healing. Um, and but this is a very codependent person. Yep, free yourself. Bye, 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 bye. You're in a process of freeing yourself. Yes, I knew it. Attraction and new love. It's you're moving in a new direction and you're freeing yourself from this past energy. There are romantic feelings with someone else. You calling in your soulmate. Some of you already met your person um, and some of you will. So let's just get into your read. I'm going to, this, this is, this is done. I feel this is just, there's a waiting period to close that part out completely. So let's see, what is the energy surrounding Taurus and this interference? What is the energy surrounding Taurus? So we have intimacy. I feel this is your new person. We have secret admirer. This is the ex person and resentment. So this person is anger and bitter. I think this is a, a watching energy. So all of a sudden they're, you know, uh, uh, it doesn't matter what degree of narcissism this is. This is a person who, when you pull away, you know, all of a sudden they think they have feelings, but it has to do with, um, uh, you know, uh, codependency, right? Abandonment issue. So you've triggered something in you and now they want you back. So here, my God, I think we got this last week for you too. There's a grace, the way you're operating. You have intimacy here, your new love. There's a new connection here. You're attracted to someone who provides a balance in your life. And I love this energy for you. Yep, we do have delays, sidetrack, delays, distractions, change. There will be, I do feel this delay. There's a delay, but you're moving in the right direction because, again, a chapter is closing. So let's see what else we've got. I need one more. Okay, three more. Fine. So stand your ground. Uh-huh. This has to do with that past energy. We have three of cups. I think you are in celebration with this empress. There is a good energy around you. Taurus. So that's a good sign. What else we've got? Hangman to me, sacrifice. This is the um, waiting period. Material harvest. Maybe a lot of you have a financial, yeah, um, more three of pentacles. There is an agreement that needs to take place. Um, three of pentacles in this deck is recognition reward. So this is a waiting period right now of what's going to change, I feel, financially for some of you. You know, some of you have children with your past energy. Again, it's a codependent energy here. You know, your person is definitely suffering in silence. Nine of swords. Like I said, I felt that nine of swords energy with the six of cups. So again, this is your, your past energy. So let me get more on the stand your ground. I really feel the grace, right? As you stand in grace um, not feed into the BS is how you close this chapter much more faster in your life because we don't want to feed into the BS. We just want it to be done. And codependent energies need constant um, uh, stimulation in, to in the toxic ways to create. Uh, they just need to create, right? Create things that make them get the attention they need. So stand your ground. They want to stand your ground. Wow. We've got Knight of Wands, Five of Pentacles in the bottom. I feel that. I can run the standard ground. Yeah, continue to take action with this Knight of Wands. Despite of what's going to happen, yeah, this person's, again, tr their triggered wounds, these Five of Pentacles, their triggered wounds is definitely triggered. Their wounds are triggered, but you need to move forward. Don't let their nonsense or the things they say get in the way. Eight of Pentacles, just continue to walk towards what you're trying to accomplish. Ten of Pentacles here, obviously a new a new life for yourself. You're stabilizing. Three more in the Three of Cups. Three more in the Three of Cups. What's 
a celebration. Oh, you have 333 three, three here. Taurus, I think you got 333 three, three last time. And um, the energy I pick up for now, there is spiritual protection around you. So this is definitely faded. Came around the Three of Cups. And this is bringing in something so much more for you. It's destined in this way. So you've got the moon energy with the Ace of Swords. So definitely a triumph. There's going to be a breakthrough. You just can't see it yet. So things are going to work out. Things are going to close out with this chapter. Um, there are a lot, there's a lot of communication. It may not be easy. A lot of truth that's going to come out. Um, but it may not be easy. Give me one the moon. A lot of clarity and understanding I feel like you're getting with this moon. Yeah, Ten of Wands and Four of Wands of this past energy. Four of Wands. There's a lot of clarity you're getting from this closure of the past. And you're going to have your breakthrough, Ace of Swords, but it doesn't come easy, right? There's, it's going to be burdensome. You know, the swords are going to be out um, if it hasn't already. But your mind is made up. That's just how I feel. And you're just moving forward no matter what. Give me more of this Empress energy. Give me more of this Empress energy. Yeah, justice. You'll get justice. Um, you have someone who you have uh, nine of cups. You've met someone. Your new love is going to be bring you so much balance. It represents good karma. It represents a spiritual connection that brings you more harmony. Nine of cups, more emotional fulfillment. You're happy with your new love. You're going to feel so much better with your new person. Okay, we're on the sacrifice. Yeah. You are willing to be patient with this to a cups and the world because you know what's ahead is something so much more. But again, this represents an ending and a beginning. So I feel like you guys have are ending. There's something closing, right? You're freeing yourself from this codependent, but also embracing a new love. So there's a lot um, that I, I feel the negotiation here on a pentacle level with these nine of pentacles and the recognition reward. Give me more of this nine of pentacles. Yeah, the negotiation, the death process. You know, this this will change your finances. Give me more of this nine of pentacles. But at the same time, it's bringing in something new. So don't fear the change because death is just this the ending of one thing and the beginning of something else. Yeah, three of wands, stay positive. Look forward. Just make plans. This this means you're gonna temporarily you're going to have to reestablish the ground again. Um Taurus and or your person, you guys. You guys know I'm reading. I'm just generally reading here. But there's there's a rebuilding here that's going to take in an optimism, right? Because this is a process. But I feel like there's an excitement for this change too and, and a commitment because of this balance that this person brings to you. Um, double Libra here. You've got um, Scorpio energy as well. Cancer energy as well. Give me more of these three of pentacles. Wow, we've got nine of pentacles again. So this is definitely your negotiation. Your stability is being interrupted. King of wands, queen of wands, and the two of pentacles. So there's a lot going on. I feel the fact that the, the queen and king are facing away from each other. This is the separation, the two of pentacles, the negotiation of contracts. So definitely a past energy that you're trying to negotiate this contract um, or this, you know, your, your, yeah, they're trying to hold on tightly for pentacles. I wanted to clarify the two of pentacles. So it's, it's going to destabilize temporarily for a while. This will destabilize, but at the same, but it's all going to be worth it because I swear it really is embracing you to free yourself. It will, you know, again, 10 of pentacles and, emperor energy we have the three of cups here so definitely a separation here three of swords walking away eight of cups from this queen of wands 
Yep, who is codependent, seven of swords. She's discontent, he or she, discontent, four of cups. Uh, Taurus. This is an easy energy, but um, this is closing out. All right, so let's see what the blockages are. Spirit, what are the blockages? So star child, your home is in the stars. I feel this is about trusting in the faith, knowing who you are in the stars. Illusions, stop lying to yourself. Trust your intuition. Yeah, the illusions are coming down here. I think this person's showing themselves for a while now. Go outside, breathe, and escape the traps of the mind. You're going to have to do a lot of meditating or just monitoring your mind in order to keep this grace here, Taurus. I think your patience are going to be tested, but please do not give in. Unresolved trauma preventing you from moving forward. I feel it's it's being a block, so this person's unresolved issues is, is a way to cling. Their codependent ways is to cling to you so you don't move forward, neither of you. But you've got to create boundaries. We've got boundaries here. Givers need to set limits. Takers never do say no. And you definitely have to create healthy boundaries in order for this to really close out from this codependent energy. All right, so what are the shadow aspects of this interference here? What are the shadow aspects here? This person is obviously just triggered and they're going to do anything because, you know, they're in a space but they're mad, you know? It's just part of it. Lies, lies, lies. Artificial love. They don't really love you. Just string you along. Yes. That's what I'm feeling. Like this person is going to... I feel like that secret admirer, all of a sudden they, they think they love you again. But it's artificial. It's just because you're you're releasing them and they don't like it. Lies, lies, lies. Again, cover up. They are trying to cover up their cheating. This person is obviously... A codependent person, a lot of times, um, if it's narcissistic, they already have other people. They're never alone. Let's just say it. These people are never alone. And bad traits, jealousy. Their jealousy has become toxic. Careful. Don't be too trusting. Yes. I do feel this person is jealous right now. Um, I feel this person is jealous. And they're... It's a triggering, again, of the abandonment. So their jealousy has become toxic. Careful and don't don't be too trusting. I don't trust this person. Nothing they say. This is not a trustworthy person. Artificial love, right? So the jealousy is triggered. So they're going to make pretend they love you. Um, and they're covering up cheating. They still have other people. You know, oh, look at that. Bottom of the deck player. You're not the only one. Ask them. Yeah. I, and look at that. Bottom of that. Lies, lies, lies. Pay attention to the signs and their actions. So, not a good person, Taurus. Definitely freeing yourself for sure from this past. All right, what's the guidance for Taurus? Keep that grace, you know, because this is about keeping your vibrancy, right? Um, ooh, and I love it because we have new direction. So, you're definitely moving in a new direction, new love. Everything's new. Your highest self is calling you to take a new direction. This could be a new career, job, friendship, or even a new love relationship. This new path will lead you to your highest good. Trust it and just follow the road ahead. That's this new person. Like It's a completely different energy. You know, you've got someone who's giving you emotional balance and good karma. And, you know, it's so much more valuable. You know, like you hold them in high regard. So it's definitely a positive energy and facing fears. You're running, but you can't hide. It's time to go within and face what you fear. What is holding you back and living your best life? The only one who can. It starts with you and ends with you. And this has to do with the decisions and sticking to your boundaries with this person. No more letting them create fear in you about like it's all an illusion. Remember, it's just to cater to their lies and their deception and their codependent energy, right? They're, it's all an illusion. It's fake. It's, none of it is real. They don't need any of it. They just need your energy because they don't want to face their own selves, you know, their souls. They don't want to face themselves. Um, so let's get one more guidance for you, Taurus. Growth. The flowers I have planted are growing from every corner and envelope me. So this is definitely a growth process. This new direction, you've, you've grown in these stages and 
again, it's a whole new chapter. So you can tell that you're no longer aligned with this past and that's why freeing your soul and your spirit is extremely important because what you're attracting, it, it's a different energy. Your growth doesn't align to, it's disturbing. I, you know, it gets to the point where you realize certain energies are disturbing and that's how you know you've grown, you know, when things just, just don't feel right in your spirit anymore. So Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, subscribe. Click that bell button if you enjoyed my frequency, but remember to live always relentlessly as driving aspiration. This is the evolution of your soul. And I'm here to let you go to the next message. Bye.